Quest Pro, before we uh, go on the land and find some treasure, we're going to have to find out how it works. So we're going to try, try to go through the settings. But firstly, I'm just explain what you get with it. It's the uh, 11 by uh, 9 search head, which we cover. Bolts uh, uh, that fasten it through, which are straightforward. But these square tubing um, stems, which are brilliantly solid. We've got one, which adjusts with a, a clip, perfect. And then the other one, solid, very solid, very solid machine. Then you've got the display and the connections. Also, this works with the wireless headphones and a, or a direct headphones. Well, here we are with the uh, wireless headphones. Simple switch on the machine, and it will automatically connect. But they're well sturdy and. Uh, Good quality headphones, like them, great. So we just press the side button on the right hand side top one here, and it will link up the headphones and linked up. And as you can see, there's a little light there or a little wavy lines there to say it's linked up with your wireless headphones. Perfect, great. To simply adjust the display and handle. Uh, a gripping handle which is brilliant it's three screws here positive screws to adjust and you can adjust this armrest according to your, your arm length important that for when you're swinging a, a metal detector around so that's an important issue aha this is how you condense the machine simply pull the levers here condense clip back and open that one and look at that packed away simple and small without any space taken up what helps a, a great deal uh, in metal setting is having an arm strap once you've got your arm strap fixed you can go for ages on a field detecting this is how you turn the Quest Pro on you just press the M button and the power goes on. It's quite easy to pinpoint. All we do is press the um, target button. And that's all it is. Aha! And there's your target. Uh, to adjust the sensitivity is just a matter of these two buttons here, which actually sorts out quite a lot of your modes as well. So let's just go up and down. As you see, increasing. If I increase it to 83 and then it goes up to 99 sensitivity, we'll go down, up and down so that's quite easy and straightforward. The depth meter here, battery life there and volume there. Two side buttons here are volume. Up, down. We have an interesting feature at the back here, a little light at the back which you can shine like a little torch and all you do is to turn it on is to second button down and then it's lit and that just shines down onto the search head or the area that you're detecting which illuminates it, it saves you having a head torch. Brilliant feature. To move from different programs, you just press the metal tenting symbol with the little arrow, press, and it moves into seven different modes. Coins, beach, coin field, catch, custom one, custom two. I'm going to put it in jewellery for the moment. The ground balance is... There is a, to pump the coil. Until more or less it's gone away. And there you go, it's ground balanced. Simple as that. I'm going to put it back into um, 
back into jewelry. Just we'll try and jewelry to begin with, and see and see how it goes. Disc one. These disc one, disc two are are, are for the custom settings. If you do want to customize the detector to your requirements, fine tune. You use disc one or disc two. The other modes are just preset modes for the machine, uh, which automatically have a discrimination level to different targets and different metals. Here we are with uh, different targets to see what kind of ID numbers come out. Because right in the middle you've got an ID number. Here we go. ID number 50 on a hammered coin, 56. And gives you the depth reading on the right hand side. Look. Just there. Hammered, target ID, and then we've got a big piece of brass, which gives a high reading, 80, 84, 80, you dig that, tin, it's a small bit of tin, but they go larger than that, so 50 plus, under. And we've got a button, 67, copper button, now we've got Georgia third half penny, 86, copper brass brooch, it's low figures, or mid tone if you like. Fifty-six. Then kind of gold wedding band. And this is a rusty nail. Even a crackle there. Look, rusty nail. Not even a noise. It's all out. See how it performs in this field. Here we are with the press pro. Trying it out. We have Carl. Rom spinner disc, yeah! <laughs> and his uh, dad tried it with the headphones. They're great, the wireless ones. So I'm now going to try without the headphones because we need to know the noise. But yeah, yeah, these are okay. They're nice, nice and comfy. So the headphones are quite comfy for, for the uh, Quest Pro. It is foil. I don't freaking believe it! What a coin! Oh, this is unbelievable! What a coin! This is just the bee's knees with me. Quest, bro, look at that! Half crown of some kind, I would say, of uh, Victoria. Oh my god! Oh, look at the condition of that man! It's a beauty, that, isn't it? Oh, what do you think of the machine? <laughs> that is, people won't believe that. Oh, let's have a look at that. It's a quality, a nice signal. Jesus Christ, that one lost. That, that, one. that one lost. For a belt of a coin. Yes, I think I'm beginning to like this Quest Pro. <laughs> Pinpointing. Something a bit different there, but don't know what that is. Right, eight to eighty-four. In the eight eighties, that's, that's good target. That I've got the sense TV on high and uh, got full max, and sometimes it just goes a little bit. But I'm putting the power on.
79. Jumping up and down. Don't really rate that. We'll see what it is, I suppose. Wash here. Yeah. Looks like they're giving us a reasonable noise. Alright. Seventy-one, seventy-two. It's. I'm not sure. It's all over the place. Don't dig it. Yeah. Sixty-one, sixty-two. I think they're the old shotgun cartridges. Not what we want. I've got a definitely a, a good 89, 90. That's uh, promising, promising, promising. Copper, but not what we want. 70. Jumping up and down again, but not used to the machine, so we better dig it. Lead pipe. So that's what jumps about. It's not. Locking onto a decent, solid, uniform type target. Uh, with the Quest Pro, and we've had another uh, piece of shilling. It's uh, George the um, Sixth, 1941, smack in the middle of the Second World War, shilling. And as you know, Second World War time, 1939. 1945 Second World War solid silver and uh, that'll do nicely that was 74 on the machine well the machine is quite is real light easy to move around as you understand the machine I think it's going to be a great water machine beach machine and um, pasture and ploughed land machine personally just got to understand it. Hmm. <laughs> a button. So I did get some interference and I did ground balance it. So it's all right now. It's a lot better. So I did ground, have to ground balance this one. 86. 86. 83. Cracking signal, that. Huh? Oh, look at that. Miss that one. George V, half penny. Uh huh. It's not bad, is it? Is a coin. So, George VI. All oh, right. Okay. It's ninety-five. All right. Some sort of. Could be a spoon. I think it's a spoon, really. Something similar, but not as good as ninety-five, but slightly under. Oh, 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 <laughs> get out. Hey, what the shilling? 1937. Ah, oh, we'll have a bit of that. Shilling, 1937.